Welcome to the Sign Writing Stream, where we show, teach, and demo all about Sutton Sign Writing. This week, the Sutton Sign Writing True Type Font Package. Part 2, Sign Normalization. Let's get started. As always, go ahead and hop over to our open chat on Gitter. Love to hear from you. Questions, comments, always welcome. We're going to be talking about the Sutton Sign Writing uh, True Type Font Package. You can find it on npmjs.com or, or GitHub. Let's take a look. The uh, documentation is available on github.io and the functions that we're going to be looking at today is specifically the fsw.signnormalize function. First, when we're talking about signs, a sign, each sign is written on or written in its own unique sign space, if you will. It is um, where we have x and y XY coordinates, they range from 250 to 749, but the center of the space is always going to be 500 by 500. If we take a look at this sign, it starts with uh, the sign box lane. For this, it's the middle lane. So we have our position of the 500 by 500 for the center. We have our pre-processed max coordinate. In this case, it's 514 by 517. That's placed there as well. Now we have two, sign, uh, two symbols that we're going to be putting in this sign box. We have the hand shape at the coordinate 490 by 483, and we have a contact star at 486 by 506. Sign normalization guarantees that the center is always going to be 500x and 500y. And it will position the symbols accordingly, and it will also pre-process that max coordinate for us. The uh, center of a sign is very important. If you look at these signs, you can imagine a tight bounding box around each of the signs, and the center of that sign is going to line up with our vertical column. If you look at the sign right here that has the head, you'll see that even though the center of the sign, if we did a tight bounding box around, everything would be more towards the cheek over here. Centering and normalization makes sure that the head is actually horizontally, horizontally centered properly. And that way we can tell the right side from the left side very quickly. It helps with our, the, the um, helps with the speed that we can read at. Let's take a look at SignMaker and take a look at exactly how this is going to go. I'll scroll down and we'll open up the US ASL dictionary. Let's put two hand shapes here. And if we center them, the center, like I said, we draw a tight bounding box around our uh, symbols and we calculate the mathematical center. And this mathematical center is that 500 by 500. No matter how many symbols we put in there and what arrangement, draw a tight bounding box, find the center. And that's where the center is going to be. The head shapes all have different rules. The head shapes take precedence. So if there is a head shape, it will actually ignore the other symbols and it will center it based on the head. And we can see that. We can move these hand shapes anywhere we want and the center will always stay the same. I was talking about that bounding box. If there's multiple heads in a sign, the bounding box will be only around the head shape. So if we put those there and we center, you can see that it's that tight bounding box around the head. The position of the other symbols does not matter. It will not affect the center. But moving the head shapes, we get a new center. All right, let's go over to codesandbox.io and check it out. Create a sandbox, just vanilla. Sandbox, sorry. There we go. All right. First thing we want to do is we're going to add a dependency. Our dependency in this case is Sutton Sign Writing Font TTF. All right, that is added. Now we need to import it. Let's go back over to the documentation. And we want to use it as a module. Excellent. And we are going to import everything as TTF from the Sutton Sign Writing font TTF package. 
And we can just paste that right in there. Control D. Okay. Now that we have it installed, the first thing we want to do is we're going to do ttf.font.css append. This is going to add some CSS rules to our page in the background as a style element, and that will make our fonts available so that we can use that. The only thing is if somebody doesn't have the font installed, it will download it from the internet, so we need to make sure that we don't start until the CSS is loaded. So we can use the CSS loaded function. The only thing is this does take a function itself, so we'll just use a arrow function and define the function in there. So once our CSS is loaded, it will call this function inside. All right. So it is ready. All right. We'll do a var spatials equals we're going to have a symbol key S10000. Then we need to give it coordinates. We'll put it at 480 by 480. Let's put another spatial symbol in there, S20500, and we'll do 520 by 520. All right. So now let's build our sign. This is going to be our unnormalized sign. So we're going to put it in the middle lane. We're just going to give it 500 by 500 as the pre-process max coordinate. That's going to be overwritten anyway. And then we're going to, let's add the spatials. We're going to join. And we're just going to join it with no spaces in between. All right, now we have to normalize it. So let's var norm equals TTF. Dot, and this is in the FSW section. Let's go take a look. FSW, sign normalize. We just call it and give it our sign in FSW. All right, so sign um, FSW dot sign normalize. We pass it the sign. Excellent. Let's do one more thing. We'll do a var SVG equals ttf.fsw.sign svg, and we give it our norm. All right, we don't have anything output yet, so let's get that put in here. Let's have the, we'll put the regular sign, and then we'll add our break so we can get a new line, and then we'll add the normalized string. Let's put another break in there, and then we will add our SVG. And you can see that we have our unnormalized sign right here, and then we have our normalized sign. There's a couple interesting things to look at. First of all, this symbol key was put at this coordinate of 480 by 480, but once that was normalized, our symbol was actually at a different position. It's 475 by 475. And the same thing happened with our contact star, the S20500. Rather than be at 520 by 520, it went 515 by 515. And you'll also notice that we have a new max coordinate. This is a pre-processed max coordinate, and it tells us where our sign ends. Let me show you, rather than uh, well, let's say we'll set our norm equal to sign. When we set our norm equal to sign and we try to make an SVG, you'll see that our sign is actually cut off. The minimum coordinate works out just fine. It's that max coordinate that doesn't actually show up. If we go in here and we change max coordinate to something else, you can see that more of our sign shows up. We need to keep increasing it until we actually see everything around it. To make this even more clear, when we make our sign SVG, since this can take a style string, 
Let's give it a background of light blue. We change this back to 520. You can see that the, uh, the size of our sign box is changing. If we actually use our normalized sign, you can see that it properly puts it. And no matter what we have up here in our unnormalized sign, it doesn't matter because once we normalize it, the sign will appear properly. So that is sign normalization. It uh, relies on the size of each of the symbols. If you looked at our code, you can see that there is a FSW symbol size and you send it a symbol string and it tells you the size. So that is sign normalization, relies on the symbol size. And once you get it uh, normalized, it will not only be centered properly, but it will also be sized appropriately too. I hope that was interesting and helpful. Have a good day.